Um, so we definitely use VOR, VOR cancellation, ocular motor exercises, um, post head trauma. It's hard to, for me to say that would be contraindicated when there's a VOR deficit, but I get it. I get the conversation because if I'm looking straight ahead and doing VOR, what is my concern about that exercise? It is that I'm becoming too bound centrally and I'm feeding in to central, my central vision versus what happens between central and periphery. And what we see with head trauma is decreased uh, visual spatial processing. So, you know, you have to think about what, what I was teaching 20 years ago on concussion is in the trash can. We have to be open. We're doing the best we can, right? So it may be that we find down the road, we, we're not doing anything in the central visual field post head trauma because what we need to be doing is having people push out and not becoming too dependent. So I, I can see where they're contraindicated. We do a mixture. We don't, where five years ago, I may have, well, I don't know time anymore, but um, I know that I did Brock string a lot. And and then you get in the neuro optometry world and they're like, no, what are you doing? You're over, they, you need to be working on the periphery. So now we do Brock string, but not as much. We do a lot of nasal occlusion to push it out in the, in the periphery. We do a lot of central visual exercises that we're not becoming too dependent on central vision. So I can see where it's contraindicated, but I think that would be the rationale is don't just do things where the eyes are right here in the middle, because what do your patients do? They just start getting too dependent on central vision and don't process what's in the periphery.